my people, <laughs> you don't read all <laughs> pastors in commotion. No, this morning, no, as a bell, Damina don't expose everything. Everything where we say you want to know concerning Christians, concerning pastors, prophets, prophetess, you have to go to Ebel Damina Facebook account. You will hear it all. Right now, they don't come. They don't come for Ebel Damina <coughs> as a protocol based clinic. <coughs> come against Ebel Damina for exposing Pastor Adebele for saying that he drink tea with God. My people, you don't read though. <laughs> Everyone don't ghost. <laughs> now, wow. This madness has to stop. But her court based cleric drags Pastor Ebel Damina for suggesting a devil ye lied about drinking tea with God. First of all, that is that was that is not true. That's not true. How can Pastor Debo ye drink tea with God? How possible is that? To start with, so let me let me say this, Pastor Deboye. How did he? Because when he came out, when I saw that video, I said, "No, how true is this? How true is this? How can you drink tea with God instead of God to give you revelation of things? Now is tea that God want to drink with you? <laughs> you guys, this thing calls for commotion, no." <laughs> I don't know if you believe it or not, but me personally, my own opinion, I can't believe that. I stand by with Abel Damina. Okay? So you this uh, 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 based uh, pastor, stop it. It's high time we, 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 you guys know the truth. Go and read your Bible. Read your Bible by yourself. Go and know God by yourself. You that is asking for prayers, is something wrong with your news? Can't you go and kneel down and pray to God? You that is asking for pastor to pray for you, is your eyes blind? You that is asking for prayers, your news, something, you have to talk to God. Can't you pray for yourself? Now you don't read. Hmm? As Ebe Damina is about, as in, he's all about, He's exposing all of them. So don't give anybody money. Sorry, guys. Do not give anybody money. Do not be deceived. Anybody, when you want to collect money, say you want to pray for you. That's Camo. And now, they don't come for him. They don't come out. They are all out for him. All right? So, as we are going to listen... This, this is a strong warning to that... Pastor Atuyo, that I'll be speaking against <laughs> Pastor. Why can't you call his name? That Pastor Atuyo. His name is Abel Damina, the true servant of God. Oh, yeah. I pity the people that you gather that listen to him. It's as if something is wrong with them. All this Awosa charm, all this Katuna Awosa charm, I hold them down. Come to protect here. Come and be insulting a devil, insulting your enemy, insulting Ben Him, insulting Pastor Christo Yakinome, insulting Dr. Daniel Dikolo Lukoya. Your time is over. Ah! Man that collected tithe from you over the. Jesus, eh? Pa! <laughs> yeah, pa! You guys, when I hear what he is talking, he said the charm, he said Ebe Damina is, us is using a uh, uh, Kaduna charm. Because Abel Damina is speaking the truth. He's telling his congregations how it is being done. That anybody that is asking you for money, no, you have to know that that person is a scam. Do not go to church to pay tithe. He, he said, if you want to hear the truth, go and listen to Abel Damina on Facebook, Abel Damina, YouTube, Abel Damina, TikTok, Abel Damina, Instagram, Abel Damina. You go there, you listen to the true word of God. And that's it, simple. As simple as that. Okay? Oh, yeah? Yes. And build that kind of church with air condition. He bought BPP cars for himself and for his wife. He owns some houses around New York, which I'm aware of. He has properties. He has houses in the village. He has developed himself. He woke up one day and said that tithe is a sin. People should not pay tithe. Tithe is fraud. I 
and he's preaching inside a church that you built with tithe and you are still there. You cannot stand up to tell him, sir, you said that tithe is fraud. Let us sell this church that we built with tithe and offering and restart our faith. You are there. Every time he's preaching, he says, mm, yes, mm. as if you are hearing something, you are a fool. <laughs> yeah, pa. Yeah. You guys, when I hear that, I'm, I'm not supporting any. But for me, I like a bird that means that salmon. That is, that is me. That is my opinion and nobody can take it from me. I like his salmon. I like the way he preach. Eh? So if he built his church with the church with tithe and offering, me, I don't know. My money is not there. But what I know is that I have received the truth. I now know the truth. Okay? So if you are still out there, if you are a church goer, you are still out there sleeping in the church every day and night, going to church from Monday to Sunday, you are your own no. Water don't enter. In fact, soap don't enter your eyes. You don't know what is going on. Church is a business. Okay? Oh, yeah. You are what? Yes, the fruits. I'm about to say the fruits. Somebody collected time from you for many, many years. The jeep is driving. The jeep, the wife is driving. The houses they have in Kaduna, in Uyo, and everywhere are tight and offering. And he came to tell you that tight is fraud. And you cannot tell him to sell those things and refund your money back. You are still there. Because he found out that his message has finished. And he came up with another plan. Heresies. And he started attacking men of God. If we Christians keep quiet and we... Hey, Lepa. Yeah, pa. My people. This pastor is really angry. Oh. He be like, say, a bed, I mean, I don't spoil their business. Oh. <laughs> this time around, <laughs> no operation, shine your eyes. If you don't shine out, they go help you shine your eyes for you. There is no two way about it. Because this pastor is really, really, really angry right now. He be like, say, some things don't go wrong somewhere. Or, are they not seeing the tights and offering again? What is the cause of this angriness? Because it's too much. Ebe Damina is not asking for tight. If the if people dash him money, because I do watch his sermon. I'm not in his uh, place. I'm not. I do watch him on television. So if, if people used to give him money, people used to dash him money. You know, as he's doing his work preaching the gospel. You know, people will just willingly give him money. And I believe, and I believe that is the money he's using. He's also a businessman. He has written so many books. He's selling books. He has written so many books which he's selling on Amazon and other places. So he has some, some uh, he has um, where incomes are coming from. Do you understand? Oh yeah. Allow our fathers of faith to be insulted. Other religion will insult us. Yeah. If you don't have respect for your father, then anything can kill you. I want you to understand that. Go to the Muslim. The Muslim, they have some senior men. You cannot come out and be misquoting them and be insulting them. Who are you? Who bow you? Ah. You're going to wipe up your whole family. You're preaching your heresy. Nobody is attacking you. Nobody is asking you to stop. Yes, ma. Stop misquoting senior men like Enoch Kadeboye, Bishop Oedeko. The other day he was talking, he was talking to Benihim. He said, I almost said, why are you lying? Concentrate on your heresy. And I pity those people you have deceived over the year, and now you are claiming to be a righteous man. You are not a righteous man. All your atrocity, all your adultery you committed, we still have the record. Yeah, pa. Pastors in flackers. My people, don't be smart, you know. Yeah? Pastor in bed, I mean, I committed adultery. Hmm. My people, this is bogus allegation. No, <laughs> not be me talking more. It's coming from a Portacourt based pastor. Eh? And since, you know, fighting back to Ebel Damina, he also accused Ebel Damina of adultery and other things. You guys, this matter don't read though. As it is now, it seems as if all people's eyes are open. So these people are getting really aggressive at the time, getting really angry. You guys, this is getting out of hand. Eh? All these pastors, prophets, prophetess, that in fracas. I don't know what that dragging, you guys. Oh yeah. And very soon you will be exposed in the name of Jesus. Yep. Yeah,
expect a demon here, then expect that you, some of us will not respect you. Ah. I'm expecting the day you will come to protect here to organize us a useless conference. Yes. You stand to abuse men of God. Come to protect here. Yes, sir. You will be insulting a demon here, insulting a demon here, insulting a demon insulting Pastor Christ, you know what I insulting Dr. Daniel Dickon of Lukoya. Your time is over. Ah. Nobody stop you from preaching your heresy. But stop misquoting men of God. Don't pick what they preach in their altar. Take it to, to social media and be abusing them. You are giving rights to people to insult the church. Preach your own. Let me preach my own. If you will not allow them to preach their own and you will preach your own, we shall not allow you to preach your own anymore. Yes, ma'am. Because love is coming. Woo. Woo. Hey, my people. This is getting out of hand everywhere don't read though. This is this is this is how oh, this is I don't know. You guys I don't know. This is too much. All right guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Mm? Hmm. This is where I'm going to end it, but what I know is that I like his sermon. Ebedamina is all I can say for that. His his sermon or oh, is all I can say for now. I like his sermon by telling people the truth. Mm? By telling people the truth. If that truth that he tell people is what is making you guys angry, you guys can run with it. Does there's no problem? There's no problem, no two ways about it. But what I know is that people's eyes have been open, whether you guys like it or not. Okay, until we see in the next video, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that anytime I give I bring any update. You will be notified. Subscribe on YouTube on my YouTube channel, Jenny Blog Media. That is what you need. Eh? Consider subscribing. Until we see in the next video. Peace.